Where'd it go? It just got swallowed up. Day six has brought us here to Port Burwell. Yep, we're starting off where we left off, and right here we're at my earth cache. This cache blows. And one of the questions for this earth cache is, how many wind turbines can you see? I see nothing. Nothing. It's a very foggy start to the day. There's a wind turbine behind us, and I can hear it. But you cannot see it. From here, you can actually, on a good day, see up to 17 wind turbines. So we'll have to go see what we can see today. Yeah. Hopefully the fog will lift, and we're going to go geocaching the north shore of Lake Erie. This earth cache was put out by Sim Rebel. Yeah, and it deals with the swallowing up of the land from the lake, which is occurring in quite a number of places. So let's take a look. You don't mean the swallows that are all flying around? No. As a sense of scale, you can see the people off in the distance overlooking, overlooking the cliff. Yeah, and that first step? That first step is a doozy. Yep. Been nice if it was sunny, but you take the days as you can get them. With geocaching, you go in all kinds of weather. We just entered uh, Norfolk County, considered the Garden of Ontario, and we just got a uh, park and grab, and there's a windmill right behind us, and that's whoosh, 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 and off to another cache. Oh, there's a huge spider on this oh, really? side. Yeah. He's a creepy one. Stick to okay, this one you gotta stick your finger in the hole. Ready? I can feel it. Ready? Get your hand on the other side. Ready? I won't go. No, I said we need a stick. Ah, okay, we need a stick. <laughs> need longer fingers. <laughs> okay, I got a stick. Ready? Here we go. Ready. Got it. Woo! It's full of poop and things. Ooh! That's, it's, it's full of poop. That one's really poopy. <laughs> Must be the spider. <laughs> I found it! Great! Another uh, quick roadside as we're moving eastward and the fog is lifting, just as uh, we had hoped. Tell me where to go. My phone won't load. Oh, I'll tell you where to go, all right. Uh, 20 meters that way. <laughs> Got it. Whoa, nice. So while we're here, we're doing a little trackable swap, and we picked this one up on episode one. And we're going to include uh, the information to check it out if you want. This one was brand new when it was set out, and its mission is to go to Ontario Parks. Well, we've helped it along its way already, taking it to several along the north shore of Lake Erie. And we're going to be picking up this trackable 
and we'll see what its mission is. And it's on a, this one's on an airplane and uh, needs a new chain and I've got one at home to fix her up. So we'll take it on its way and give it a little TLC. Sit, stay, enjoy, we don't mind if we do. And that's what we like to do when we do geocaching tours, is to find some cool places other than just geocaching. And this is a newer winery that's been set up in the area, and we're gonna have a tasting. Let's go find out what it's like. Cheers. Mm. So it's really nice to have things open so we can have a tasting. Cheers. And then when we then we can get the bottles to take home. Yeah, now we know which ones to get. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. While we were waiting for our uh, wine to arrive, we got visited by a little spider who wanted to get in on the action. A little striped one. <laughs> he was cute. That we've made our choice, we know what we want to get, we're going to get those and roll on. We find ourselves on a creek again, not Catfish Creek, but this one is Big Creek. And on this expedition, we're joined with the KBK crew and the Sparks crew. Uh, Lyric Lash is going to climb up uh, for this one. I spotted it, it's a bison tube, and you got to climb out onto the tree and up. There, you see it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's behind your back. No, you gotta turn around. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there it is. She's signing in. She's got us all signed in, and today we're signing as CKSL. Yep, sounds like a radio station from Canada. CKSL, coming to you from Big Creek. CKSL, Cash Canada, KBK, the Sparks Crew, and Lady Jamie. We've come up to one of the trickiest ones so far. This one's taken us quite a while and we still can't find it. And uh, it's been reported to us to watch out for number 30. And this is the one. The group persisted and we got that one. Thank goodness we didn't have to uh, Mark that down as a DNF, and uh, off to the marsh we go for a few more caches. We think we got 10 left or so. As we approach uh, nearer to Long Point and Port Rowan, you can see the, the topography changes quite a bit. There's a lot more flat open land. And if you look at the satellite image, you can see the river flowing through a channel within the marsh. And now uh, we can see across and there's not as many big trees. They're starting to disappear as it opens up into the big marsh. 
this has been really interesting water. We haven't come across this where there's a swamp in the creek or the, or the creeks in the swamp. And you can see around the corners because the water height is equal to the land height. This almost has a jungle cruise feeling to it. <laughs> yeah, but now from the Jungle Cruise, it's starting to change into the Everglades or the bayous of Louisiana. But no gators. That's it. That's it. Last one. Is that really? Yeah. This is number 40. Last oh, cache. Find the marina now. Straight ahead. That was it, KBK. That was number 40. All done. So we just have to beat that cloud and we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got it in the bag. I think we're good. See, I packed the rain gear, so that's a guarantee that the rain won't come. It was an amazing place canoeing, but now we find ourselves at Bacchus Woods. And there's an explanation here about the sand plane that we discovered when we were geocaching with Lauren JT. And the link to that video is right here. But now let's go get a couple of caches because it was awesome out on the river, but our journey continues. Can you see the cache? Can you see it? That was amazing that I spotted this one. Boom, right there. Like from way over there, I spotted this. Like, wow, amazing. <laughs> what was the rating? A three difficulty, and Lear Glass was standing right back there looking, and I just, it's amazing I spotted this one. Wow, like that green just kind of lit up, and thankfully I looked in the right spot and there wasn't a branch in the way. <laughs> oh, okay. This one's called Free the Birds. When you check the hint, it uh, says, the title will make sense when you park the car. And this is where a uh, flock of wild turkeys was released in 1984. For anybody that's wild about turkeys, it's all about wild turkeys. Not having as much luck on the second one on the trail. Is it, uh, it's in this grapevine and the hint says, may not be summer friendly. So I'm thinking it's best found in the winter or early spring. So where we are is the Bacchus Woods, and this is very close to a War of 1812 heritage site at Bacchus Mills Conservation Area. And check this out for the history, one of the very few remaining mills of the area that were not burned during the war. We'll keep looking, you check that out and we'll see what we can find. 1813 was not a good year for the British in Upper Canada. They were retreating from the area after the loss at the Battle of Lake Erie. They took a stand at the Battle of the Thames, but suffered heavy losses and evacuated to Burlington Heights. A loss at the Battle of Longwoods early in 1814 sealed the fate of the area. The British pulled out all regular forces and this left the area open to raiding. Several raids did occur with the object of burning down any mill they could find. Luckily for the Backhouse Mill, it survived and stands today. We hope you enjoyed that history lesson, but we haven't had any luck while you were gone. And uh, we're just gonna give this one up because there's a whole lot of caterpillars and they're kind of goopy. And uh, we just can't see it. So we're in good company because it's about a 30% hit miss ratio for finds on this one. So a couple more to go. Now we're in Port Rowan and we're doing two adventure labs down here and finding a few caches. And all the years that we did reenacting at the nearby Heritage Conservation Area, we've never explored the town of Port Rowan. So now it's our chance. Come along with us and let's see what it's like. We're about ready to go head down to the pier. That looks pretty cool.
we uh, managed to DNF on that bridge, but we came out onto the pier and we got another stage. For our adventure lab. Yeah. We're on the third stage. Cool. And there's a geocache here, so we can end in a high note. And it's Woo right between us. Ready? Look at this. There we go. Boom, just like that. There we go. A, uh, Look at my hat. It's taking your hat away. <laughs> there we go. That's the last cache today for this episode of geocaching the north shore of Lake Erie. We're going to head on eastward to other ports of call. Yep, so join us then. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you?